So the day night light module allows you to switch between a day light cycle or a night cycle. Uh, it, it allows you to uh, show your design uh, how it looks uh, when it's night or when it's the daytime. So how does this work? Well, normally, uh, once you click on initialize with additional modules or just add the default light setting to your scene, it adds a day-night light group object to your scene. And it contains two different main objects. It's, uh, the first one is the day settings, which has a sunlight, a sky, and um, a pulse processing module. Uh, we're not going to be delving into this right now, but um, you can essentially add anything that contains a light or a volume to your daylight or nightlight lists. So uh, the default lights are here. You can actually modify how it looks by um, uh, by modifying its rotational values and um, just like go ahead and click your sunlight and modify its rotational values to uh, see how it looks to um, to see how it's best uh, fits your scene by uh, modifying the required uh, the required um, rotation or position values so um, day settings and night settings are already there and they are uh, they allow you to uh, do the main switch but also you can add your own objects to your scene as well let's see uh, what I mean by that so once I click play uh, my scene is gonna go uh, my scene is gonna start playing and if I click on night it's gonna switch to night settings here and if I click on day oh sorry if I click on day it's gonna switch to day settings so um, as you can see I have these spotlights on my scene um, to be able to turn on at night and turn off at daytime so how do I do that I do that by um, selecting my lights and dragging them under night lights column to turn them on when it's night. So I named my objects like indoor night lights and indoor spotlights. So I select them, they're already uh, off in here. They are not enabled if, because if I enable them, there's gonna be too much light in my scene. So I click, I select them, I drag and drop them here to this plus sign. I can also click the plus sign to select which light to add here as well. And also, I have two different daylights here. Uh, I just uh, wanted to make my scene as lit as possible. So I have these daylights and I drag and drop them here. So once this is done, uh, after I click play, we're gonna see the difference clearly. So I press escape and then I click on night see all the spotlights have turned on and the ceiling light uh, for some reason turned off so I mean uh, I just uh, didn't try to make it uh, uh, reasonable I just tried to show how this works so you can do it like this you can uh, drag and drop your night lights here and you can drag and drop your daylights here and you can click any name to remove it from the list like if I indoor night if I remove indoor night light I can uh, add it back in or I can just uh, leave it as it is uh, etc so you can uh, add any kind of light or volume under these lists and it's gonna switch uh, during runtime to uh, what you have added to those lists. So that's it. That's how you use the day-night light module.